Record. Right, recording now. And hands together and bowing. Now then. Right. So what I've got is you know you you know your guards, uh, half guard, side control, mount, north south position, scarf all close guard. Open guard, butterfly guard, rubber guard, twister side control, shrimping, sprawling, and bridging. You know, yeah. like, you know like the back of your hand. I've got no issues with them whatsoever. Submissions, arm bars, key lock, Kamara guillotine, re uh, triangle choke, rear uh, naked triangle uh, with wrist, sorry, rear naked choke with classic artery, short choke, can openers, anaconda, uh, triangle choke, anaconda with gate a roll. Yeah, I know, I know that one. Right. Play roll over. Yeah, your toe holds, your dash chokes, your armor platter, your go go platter. Actually, Steve, the dash, can I ask something? Yeah, no problem. If I'm on the left side of someone and with the dash, I'll go get my sister. Go away. Go away. What are you doing there? I'm fine, I think so. Don't bother. Turn it. Catch up when you need it. Yeah, no worries. We're back. I can't do it on my sister because she's just doing something. Right. So, if I'm here, Steve, say if someone's here, they're facing, they're looking at you. Let me try and get this right. Yeah. So I'm here. I'm, I'm going for the dash choke from the left side of their body. Yep. When I go like that, with that, or when I go like that. Right arm. Right arm under. You're right. And then if I, yeah, because you've got to think, if you're going from the right hand, uh, the right hand side of the body, or the left, if, if they're in front of you now, You'll have to go through your right, your right, left arm needs to go underneath their armpit. Yeah. Use your left arm, you're not going to, that'll be more like a, uh, from that position, you'd be going into a, trend, uh, a unorthodox triangle choke. Mm -hmm. Sorry, not a triangle choke, arm triangle. All right, thank you. Because I just want to check how we're getting the right hand of it. Yeah, so it's always right. the hand furthest away from the red. Yeah, it's the furthest away from the edge. So with the dash, it's always going to go underneath the armpit. Yeah, I knew that. I knew the positioning. I just, I knew, I knew it that way. But I just wanted to double check. Yeah, the uh, dash going under the armpit. Hey, there we go. Right, okay. but we'll show me. I, you bleached your hair. Huh? You bleached your hair. No, it's always been this colour. Has it? No, it hasn't. <laughs> like, I've only died a while ago, though. How long ago? Yesterday. Like, in January. Oh, it's just been the light, then. <laughs> I'm going to go down here, please, boy. <laughs> right, just make sure she's not going to choke on her hair. <laughs> I'm just getting off off, please. Uh -huh. Wait, seriously? So I'm here. I'm here. That's it, yeah. Okay. So the thing is, now you're doing that, um, in fact, I'll show you. Go back into that position for flowing. Right, put your left arm underneath through the neck. No, no, left. Oh. That's it, but no, same position as your das. No, 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 no. Which arm did you just go through? So yeah, you went through. right arm went through. Round through. Right. So if you went from same position, 
There you go. Okay. That, that's the das, yeah, with the right arm. If you do the same with the left now, do the same with left, you won't have the same control. Can't do it either. You can't do it. Oh, the only thing from what you can do in that position is if you go underneath again, so you go under, no, go underneath the, no, other way, other side, no, other side, left arm still, no, left arm, uh, yeah, left yeah. Arm. use your left arm, no, go through, through the next side, there, underneath the other armpit, collect the arms together, yeah, there you go, but you collect the arms together. So, oh, like that. no, bring it up here. Tracy? Oh, this? No, 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 because you've got half the arm there. I do, I'm, oh, I'm holding on, I'm holding on to oh, my bicep. Half the arm in the pit, right. Tracy, Tracy's here, yep. Yeah? No, Tom, watch, watch, watch. Right. At the moment, for the darts, you'd come underneath like here, wouldn't you? And on top, okay? Yeah. What I'm asking you to do, instead of coming underneath here, because this won't do anything. Okay? Yeah. It will, you can come underneath to get, uh, to put the pressure on your chest. So what I'm after you doing is, if you come underneath here, pull up. Ow, 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 ow. Can you see what I've done? Ow. Oh, you didn't want me to connect my hand, you just wanted to pull up. No, 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 I've not done that either. Watch. I've come underneath. You've just done this with Chloe. Move your arm, Tracy. Move it any way you want. Yep. Ow. Yep. See what I mean? She's yep. in the head. Yep. But because it's underneath, I can tickle her armpit. It's, un it's underneath her armpit. Put that down. What I want you to do is you're going to come underneath, hold it onto the tricep side, and pull it up. Okay. Now, if Tracy tries to move now, Ow. she's not going to be able to. So, what I want you to do then, bicep. Arm triangle it. Arm triangle. It's an unorthodox arm triangle. Ah! Oh. <laughs> 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 that was good, both that. Elbow. <laughs> there we go. All right. Should I just put you down? Keep it going, have another go. New techniques for you. So if I ask you, Tom, if I ask you in your next grade to show me another inverted triangle, another inverted arm triangle, you know what to do, don't you? Yeah. Show me again. You want to give it a go, Chloe? You mind if Corey gives it a go? Go for it. Have a play. What do I do, Marty? So get this knee up against there. Mm -hmm. And I get that arm wrapped around me to control me. Now this hand. Mm -hmm. So go through, go through and then lift my shoulder up. Sorry, grab that part. Well, don't grab it. <laughs> get, and then just lift it up. Make sure I can't move it. Can I move it? I can, I've got it on right. <laughs> now grab your own hand. Grab your own bicep with this. This hand grabs that bicep. Oh, okay. Now squeeze. Now squeeze. And then uh, lift up. <laughs> <laughs> She's getting there. I did <laughs> feel it. Good, no, it's good for what you're doing with Chloe because I can prove. Because obviously, as I said to you, uh, it's probably going to go till Christmas, this thing. Uh, yeah. And it proves to, I can send proof now that basically, no offense to Chloe, but Chloe doesn't know these techniques. No. So as you're teaching Chloe, I can show it that you're still doing your instructorship wise and teaching your sister. And I can prove it because it's recording now. Yeah. Yeah. So do that again, Chloe, for me. <laughs> Uh, there, yeah, and then that, that leg, sorry, that leg wants to be out there. That's what I have been doing. Okay, uh -huh. this arm goes. 
Well, that way? No. No. Okay, okay. And then. If you want to get it through. No, you want it. No, you want to put this on there, the back of it. Okay. Now lift up. Now see. I can't move my. I can move it a tad, but. Still there, well done. Keep going, keep going, squeeze harder. Lift off a few Right, Chloe, Chloe, do that again. Do it again. Okay. I'll show you a different way as well. Okay. She's getting me light headed, but I've just got a tough neck. Okay. Lift up, grab hold. Right, do me a favour, put your legs around him, will you? What? Oh, my. What's his leg? Both <laughs> well, you're the ballerina, go away. Go on, wrap, go on, other way. Go on, well, I'll wrap back one sec. Hold on. Just roll onto your back. Shall we do it now? Just roll onto your back. Oh, right, okay. Yep, now wrap your legs around me while you do it. Wrap your legs around me. Look like that, genius. Now, make sure that's always there. Okay. Oh, squeeze. Push away with your legs. <laughs> now lift your hips up. Now squeeze. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Well, it is that. <sighs> right, so there's that technique uh, that you're happy with now. So you've got your Kimura guillotine, triangle choke, rear naked choke with wrist, rear naked choke, classic artery, short choke, can opener, anaconda, arm triangle, anaconda with gator roll, your toe hold, your dash choke, your arm platter. That's, oh God. Almost, almost, yeah, almost one with your feet. Sorry, no, no, sorry. Almost like the Kamara, basically, with your feet. And go goes the scissor choke to. It's no. not, but no, no, I know it's not the scissor choke, but it's just comparing it to summer. Or is it the other way around? You tell me. Well, I'll show you what I think the uh, Omo is. I, I don't really know how to describe the go-go. You show me the Omo platter then. And how you will get, in, and how you will get into it. Is that true? I need to face him. Oh, sorry. Come down. Don't. It's on there. Could you still see us? Uh, we'll move back a bit. Yeah, turn to the side so I don't have the back side in the camera. <laughs> Move that way a bit. There you go. Excellent. So there's no the big Tom. Do it the opposite. Huh? Yes, that's right. Do it again, but opposite. We're opposite arm. Sorry, that the Omo. That's Omo, isn't it, Steve? That is the Omo, yeah. Do it opposite leg. Or spin around. Yeah. 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 No, spin around completely. So close other side. Wow. Sorry, Chloe. Like, do you mean my? I'm, I'm face, I'm facing yeah. like this. Sorry about that. No, one eighty. Move another ninety degrees. That's it. That's it. Do it that side. That's what. That's what I want to see. I think. I think I already. Do you want to move back a bit? I think I already know what you're trying to look for, Steve. Is it when I do this, do I kick with that foot? Am I meant to kick with my other one? No, that's right, that's what I want you to do. Oh, there you go now. Yeah. Good, yep. Yeah. Nice one. Happy with that. And then, sorry, Steve, would go, go, go would be, well, go, goes like that, or you can get basically the rubber guard if the rubber guard were on the bottom of your neck. Yeah. And it doesn't matter yeah. if you're on That's your back, it. if it doesn't matter on, if you're on top, with scissor, it doesn't matter how you do it, you've got it, okay? Yeah, all right. Now I remember the go-go. Right. right. So, um, show me a couple of takedowns. So you've got your single leg kneeling sweep. I won. 
Steve, I'm not going to get on. I'm just get, going to get into the position. All I want you to do is just get into the position. Where's that leg? Yep, happy with this with that. Single leg shoulder push. Yep. Uh, show me a hip throw, any style. If I could sit, yeah, but I need to see the arm positioning as well. Oh. Move back a bit. Yep, yeah, show me another, but watch that TV. Good, another one. Another one. Another. Um. Oh, yeah. What is this? Yep, another one. Remember to bring your legs as well, Tom. I have that how she's in the air, Steve. And another um, one. And another one. Oh, I'm running out of ideas here. And another one. That's all I can think of right now, Steve. What about a single arm? Oh, do you mean? Yep. Is that one? So I found. Oh. Yeah, but pull the arm all the way oh, in. Your, your shoulder. Yep, he's on the arm. Yeah. That's it. Oh. Okay. Well, you might not be able to come round. Um, your arm might not be able to come round her waist. So if you've only got the arm. You pull the arm in, and then you just basically put the arm under. Yeah. Right. Show me a single leg back sweep. There's him. Please. Good. Another time. Good lad. Another time. Another one. Yep, another one. Yeah, that's what, yep, great. Do you remember, the leg sweeps are any position around that leg, okay? Now, show me the neck clinch. No. Oh, yeah. Again. Right, Chloe, is he squeezing your neck in with his arms? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay, just checking. Right. Control her. We will head to one side. Oh. Say that again, Steve. Push the neck to one side. Remember that's your takedown, okay? Yeah. Simulate a scissor sweep. A fine one. You really think I'm gonna ask you to you do a fly sweep? You as well, Steve. You really think I'll let you're gonna do a flying scissor sweep when you're next to that TV? I don't, I don't care about. I don't care about Chloe. It's the TV I'm concerned about. Mm. <laughs> Should be my well-being you fussed about, Steve. I gotta move up there a bit. Yeah. Oh, I'm glad I asked you to do that. Wrong position. Yes, better. Whoa, careful. This is what I mean. When you before you got don't just jump straight into a technique. So is that not classes one, Steve? Well, if you did that, are you going to be able to take a forward? That's, yeah, that's the back prop, that's the back one. Sorry, no, that's the forward one. Are you, are you going to be able to take her forward? Imagine if I did it quick enough and kicked the leg in. Yeah, but, but that's you... Only if I, that's only if I did it with speed and managed to kick a knee down. If you can get it, you can get it, but it's, this, that'll be her going down onto her face, planting it down yeah. onto her face. The, uh, it's unorthodox, but 
if it works, it works. Freestyle, anything goes. Yeah. Um, but the main one is uh, getting the technique from behind so she falls onto her back. Yeah. So that's that one. Um, now, what I wanted to work with you this week on was your stand up. So I want to just go through, a, I know these are basic, but I want to see what you do. Uh, can, Chloe, so that I've got an idea of how high he's kicking, uh, mm -hmm. would you be able to stand in front of him, please? Yeah. Right. So st just stand to one side, Chloe, so, and Tom stand to TV side, so you, or whichever side, so you're not going to knock that TV over. How about we? I want to see a leading leg front kick. I need to now. I need to see you, Tom. I need to see you, Tom. No, I hit the leading leg. So like that. Yeah, big honestly, don't talk about leading leg because I think I'm doing it wrong. Is it just like that, or do I need to, or is it just walking into it? No, because if you're walking into it, you don't, you're you using your rear leg, the aren't rear. you? Yeah, so I'm just stood still and I'm just got lifting it up. So. Yeah, but what you've just done there, you're dropping your head. You don't want to drop your head. All you're doing is this, Tom. All you're doing, if I'm leaning this way, if I'm looking mm -hmm. that way, I've got my guard up, I've got my leading leg, leading legs forward, yeah? So I'm standing mm -hmm. like this. That's all I'm doing, lifting that up. Yeah. Put forward, to the back, strike out. So as you can All see right. from here, I'm just lifting it up, lifting up and striking back out, okay? That's yeah. all I'm doing. I, I do do it like that, but it, for me, it just don't feel right. If you're not, it don't well, feel right. The that's answer. the right technique. There's not a lot of power behind it. But it's is, just is it off like just keeping them at bay? Yeah, it's to stop somebody yeah. coming to you. The power I've one is to get your body, your body weight behind it and maybe push. And it's your um, the body momentum. Because if they're coming towards you at speed and you're moving towards them at speed, then you've got the strike to win. But if you don't drop your leg, don't drop your head. Yeah. It's one of those kicks that I never use because I always go off balance when I use it. Well, that's why we're drilling it. Oh, God. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Remember, foot forward, toes forward. Get a bit close. Don't worry, boy. I can't even can handle this. Ten slices before you only fall on the chair. Mm -hmm. Bring it a bit close. Good. Right. Do we really? We rear leg now. Okay. Don't hurt her though. No. That were a kick to the groin. It won. It won a stomach save. Don't worry. Slowly do it so I can see that knee fall. Good. Good. Right, show me your side kick. Okay. I'm gentle with this, we'll get you on there. Get, get it there. No, I'm glad we're doing this. Side kick, that's a full turn. Oh, kick. yeah. All right. <laughs> that's my shoulders. You're turning that into a back kick. You're coming in and you're turning into it and coming in like this. Okay? The side kick. You're lifting your leg up, turning your side and kicking sideways. Okay? Mm. See, see, am I doing it? See, how I like to do it is I like to cross my feet and then do it because that's okay, how we'll do, do it. That. Yeah, that's fine. You can cut, you can do that. Cross your feet and then come in with it. Okay, mm -hmm. come in, cross your feet, knee fold up, and straight out. Yeah. 
I know you can't see my face, but that's how I would do it. Side kick yeah. is so you got your foot. See my foot, Tom? Yeah. See on my foot, 90 degrees. Mm hmm. Okay. Foot I walk crossing my see. I walk crossing my feet. Just couldn't see it because it's not low enough down. Yeah, no worries. Can we get up? Good. That's a spinning back kick. I know, I, I continued. Hold on. One sec, Steve, sorry. Yeah. Yeah, that is how you do with that. That's better. It's doing my left foot some bit. And to it then. So you're turning your body to, away from her though. A side kick stick to the side. See, so like this? Yes. Better. But remember to lift that knee fold up. That's better, because with that knee fold, you're lifting it up and then you're pushing away with it. Yeah. So if I'm rubbing my leg like 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 You're just going to go like this. So all you're going to do is just lift it up. If you lift your knee fold up and then out to the side, okay? So you lift your knee fold up. As you lift your knee fold up, my toes at the moment are pointing towards you. So if I, I can't get much out, but if I twist to my knee fold, uh, so if I put my toes over that way now, I lift up and I can get more height, okay? Go for it. Go ahead, stand up, please. Better. A lot better. There's one that I can't do, Steve. Um, just, I can't, that's all. Yeah, hook. The hook, I can't. Well, yeah, I'm doing it now, obviously, because that's just how I work, but... Well, you do you it. Yes, I couldn't do it. No, you, you can do it now, can't you? Yeah, which is irritating. I can't get it high, though. Don't worry about height. It doesn't matter. You can only yeah. get as high as you can kick. It's like what I was saying in the, in the session before, that when I was... I spoke to... Um, I was... I was, I was Louise Graham, you know the Physio Great Britain squad? Yeah. I spoke to her, well, I said to her that I was trying to do the splits, and she said, well, the front splits, yes, but the side splits, no. Because, um, as Chloe will know, uh, it's not just the flexibility, it's your hips. If, if you've got a type of hip, uh, I can't remember what it's called, what she called it, but if you've got a type of hip that's not embedded of what, whatever it is, you won't be able to do the side splits. If you've got a certain type of hip structure, you can. Mm. I don't know what it's called, though. Do you know what it's called, Chloe? No, but I've, I know what you're talking about. Do she, yeah. I do she, yeah. Because uh, uh, when I spoke to Louise about it, she basically said, be careful, because if you try and do the, the side splits and you don't have... Um, the structure of your hips, you'll dislocate your hips. Mm. So I don't have, unfortunately, I don't have that type of hip, but you you don't have to do the side splits. You don't have to be able to do the side splits to be able to do a, uh, a high side kick. Yeah, these people that can go from one to like, go like so, they mm. can do the splits. They're fine. They're able to do it. But people like me and you, okay, people like me, uh, <laughs> yeah, don't you laugh. I can't do the side Don't put me in the same category as you, Steve. <laughs> oh, shut it. Well, I can't do the side splits. So, because I can't do the side splits, yeah. um, you'd be able to, somebody can keep the foot in that position and just go straight into the splits. Mm. But I need to turn my foot in that direction and then I can kick higher, yeah? Yeah. Um, but all it is, just remember, the side kick is your foot positioning, though. 
needs to be sharp at 90 degrees. Yeah. Right, so you've done this side kick. So show me a knee strike to, to your sister. Nice and relaxed, nice and cat, uh, softly though. Don't be breaking her. Right, that's another one which you will lose points with. Mm -hmm. Right, you are striking with your knees, which is right, but what you're not doing with your arms. There we go. Yep. But you've got movement though. Sorry, Chloe. You've got <laughs> movement though with your arms. I can see her head, neck moving. Because the oh. switch is a tiny. Yeah. Don't just don't rag her around. Just practice either the forefinger hold, but with the gloves on, it's difficult for forefinger. So yeah. you have to see the um the gable, gable in and then pull it down, okay? But don't pull yeah. it down really sharp. The only reason I'm not squeezing is because I end up, she, is that hurt so if I squeeze no, I don't mind. Hard. I don't mind the, the, not squeezing back so I don't want you to hurt her. But what I do want is I want that, that neck movement in because if you don't put the neck movement in, um, your legs are only going to be half the power. But oh, if you no. bring your arms, to your legs, you're getting more power in there. Uh, let's have a look at your footwork as well now. Okay. Okay. Right, show me what you do. No, show me what you do with the um, with the knee knees. Show oh, oh, you mean Nina? Yeah, very, very light. No, 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 no. I want to see the knees very lightly, though. I want to see how you move your legs. Put the um, put it up a bit more. Put it up a bit more. The camera, just a tad. That'll do. That's it, yeah. Right, you can do that, but what I want you to do, I want you to do two, then switch legs. Yeah. One, two, switch, there we go. That's it. The reason being is because, do three, do three each and swap. One, two, three, swap. There you go. So you've got a continuous strike. Because if you keep on switching and swapping legs, you're not going to have a continuous strike. You're just going to have one strike, waste a second. One strike, waste a second. But if you do a continuous attack, like two or three combo, and then, yeah. Yeah. Two or three combo, then switch legs. The reason why you switch legs is why. Beats me, Steve. I only do the stuff. I don't know the logic behind it. Think about this one. Why would you swap legs after doing a two, or th uh, two three, or four combo? To stay unpredictable. Tired. Oh, I just said that. <laughs> well, what did Chloe say then? Oh, he said tired. Yeah, tired. As your legs, if, as you're coming in with all the power that you're coming in with, your legs are going to start getting tired and fatigued. But if you share it out, you're going to do two, three combo, four combo, then switch legs, then switch legs, then switch legs. Not just mm -hmm. that, but as you're doing the combo to their face or their body, as the knees are coming up, if they're blocking that knee, then you can go in with a different angle. Because what I'm going to show and do now is. Uh, do it with Chloe again, but instead of coming straight up to her, twist into a into a side. So side knee. Yeah. Then. Still the same knees. You're just going for the so, top. So. Like that. Show me. So. Um, yep. Yeah, going into the side. 
Chloe, hold it onto your uh, side, onto your ribs underneath you for us a second. I'm only going to wear those, Steve, because I don't yeah. want to hit her in the left. That's fine. Ribs. Yeah, that's what I mean, though. You're coming up to the side. Yeah. Yeah? Instead of just, let's say they start, is it because if they start blocking this one, Steve, I go, huge and break the ribs because they're not blocking yeah, them. Yeah, you've got to remember they're going to try and uh, stop it coming on or block it. Yeah. That's it. Nice work. <laughs> no, you don't. Uh, time. Right, show me a jump, jump cross then, please, Tom. Oh, don't you get that again? Pat, can you go to the um, go to the window and just move that chair out of the way? I just want to, if you can. If not, I'll leave it. Leave it be. Leave it be. Leave it be. Yeah. Well, you can sit down on it if she wants. No, right. What I want you to do is I want you to do a jab cross now in front of me. So, good. Right. Chloe, do me a favour. Keep contact. No, it's nice and slow, Tom. Chloe, can you just angle the camera down to his feet, please? That's going too far across that, Tom. Just so it's straight, that's it. All you need, and bend the knee into it as well slightly. That's better. More power. It's all coming from your hips, remember. Switch dance. Good, that's better. Before you were going too far. We're well, going like that. Yeah. Because remember, if you're going for a strike, you'll need to be able to possibly change direction, change uh, position of your footwork. And if yeah. your footwork is on the wrong angle, first of all, you're going to lose power. And secondly, you may be prone to injury as well. Um, if your legs twisted too far around in a certain position, then you're going to get, um, you could get injured because they're going to come come push you back and you could land on your ankle incorrectly and stuff like that, yeah? Now, same with your hook punch. Show me your hook punch. Oh, to lift up one. So there. Good. That's good. Yep, happy with that. Show me an axe kick. Oh. Good lad, yes. But on this, it doesn't matter whether or not it's a um, inner or outer crescent. Yeah. It ju I just wanted to see the axe. Steve. Yes. An inner outer kick, you go to the outside to in, don't you? But an outer, you go inside to out. No, it's wrong way around. So an inner's in to out, an outer's out to in. No, an inner yeah. is... Out to in, and then yeah, right, that's what in, in to yeah, out. Yeah, that's what I've been doing then. So that's an inner. I'm sorry, and that's an outer. <laughs> <All right. laughs> what you just kicked then? I accidentally kicked a knee with my toe. All oh, right, yeah. So an outer crescent is no, in out, to out, and an out inner is out to in. All right, good, yeah. Yeah. I always need to check these, so I never know if I'm doing so. Well, the thing is, with the syllabus as it stands, when you do the axe kick, if it's going to be like uh, with a blue belt, it's just saying to you, just do an axe kick. So Don't the specify. Next, the next one after that will be a, probably a specify. Yeah, it's weird that it's not very, it's, yeah, it's not a very difficult kick, is it? It's just Even to if see if you know it or not. Yeah, I suppose so. So if I say do an axe kick, if I ask you to do an axe kick, you're doing an axe kick by an Nandi. But if I ask you to do an out of crescent axe kick, yeah? Right, show me a bicycle front kick. 
Yep. Good. Do you want me to carry on? Yes, please. That's good. Good. Don't go to, you went to one side a little bit. Don't go to one side. Keep straight up. Good. Nice. Right. Chloe, can I borrow you? Hmm? Yep. Right, I want you to take Chloe's, Chloe's leg out by kicking it. But I want you to kick it low into the into the into a thigh. How would you do it? Lower it down a little bit. Uh, knee play. off, right? Well, uh, it's done here. That'll do. Yep, go for it. Right, you're kicking right on the crease. I want you to kick up to kick down on the thigh. There we go. Kick up to kick down. Good. Do you jump the knee or the thigh? The thigh. Be kick. Right, Tom, this is what I want you to do. This is what I want you to do. As you're in, you're kicking like this, okay? Mm -hmm. That's how you're kicking. What mm -hmm. I want you to do is I want you to kick and kick down. Got you, yeah. You're coming in to kick down, okay? All right. <laughs> oh, oops. But be careful you're shinning it in, you're too close. Hold on. Good. <laughs> right, 10 seconds, then we're going to go into something that nice. Good, right. What I want you to do, Tom, is I want you to use your own technique, but you're going to come in, cover the jab cross up, go for a, cro uh, a jab. As you go for the jab, move off your centre line. I don't want you to be able to move off your centre line to a position where you can take Chloe's leg down. I'm not going to show you yet. Oh, just stand there. Oh, come in there. Yep. And go okay, for sweep. Do that. Yep. Arm across the body. And go do. One. No, you need to go off your centre line first if you're going to do that. Go off the double leg. I can also go off the single leg. Yep. Um, a double leg sweep, Steve. That's the thing, isn't it? Yes. So, boom, boom. go off the double leg. What then I can do that arm on the top. Remember, what are you doing with that arm? Well, if I'm there... Yeah, what are you going to do with the arm? Pull it down. No, what are you going to do with oh, your right arm? What are you going to do with your right arm? Why would you hold that up just in case a strike's coming in? She's going to be holding it onto your arm. What are you going to do with that left, that right arm? That left arm? There you go. Use it. Yeah. Any... <laughs> Teamwork. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's as easy as that. Yeah. If you've got a limb spare, use it. Yeah. If you, because the more you, the more age you put into, um, into fighting, into a technique, the more, the easier it's going to be for you because goes back into that position again. One, two, three. Right, she's struggling to go down. What else can you do from that position when you've got her like that? Um, what, when she's on one foot or when she's on two feet? When she's on one foot. Oh, well, just drop her. Uh, no, yeah, let me think. Um, 
Tommy, yeah? This is what I want you to do. I want you to start thinking about them. And then I can just sweep a rubber there foot. There we go, that's what I'm after. Oh, if I want to <laughs> Sorry. All right, forget it, Chloe. No, that's what I'm after, Tom. That's what I'm after. Oh. I'm after a sweep. So. There, bang, sweep. If I want, I can get on my knee. <laughs> and really. Well, if you want, you can break a back from that. Uh. Yeah. Yeah? But it's a sweep. You need to be able to sweep, okay? You've gone. Sorry, I'll just turn the light on because it looks a bit dark in the camera. No, it's all right. I can see what I can see what you're doing anyway. Go for go. it again. Yeah, go for it again. Right the other way then. Come on. Oh, 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 oh. What's wrong with you, Chloe? You want to give it a go, Chloe? No. Go give it a go, Chloe. <laughs> See, oh, Steve. Give it, give it a go if you want to. Okay. So, uh, Get your own uh, back. You're going to punch. You're going to uh, punch him in the hand. You're going to step over there. No, no wrong leg, like, wrong leg, like Chloe. That's yeah, it. A bit further over. You're going to punch him in the face. Dude, keep that there. Now that leg's going to go behind my two legs. And with that hand, you're going to pick this leg up. So get it under, under. Oh, under hook, that's it. Lift now it you're going to push this back while lifting that leg up. Uh, <laughs> I'm going <laughs> like to sweep that foot with your leg. With my right leg? Yeah, with your right leg. <laughs> See? There you go, Chloe. She should join martial arts. She does it better than most of men, to be honest with you, when it comes to learning. <laughs> no, no, I'm not just saying that. She's a quick learner. Well, it's up to her. She wants to do it. She can do it. You want to quit dancing and do it, Chloe? <laughs> <Nah>. <laughs> So basically, you've got to look at doing that, yeah? Look at moving yeah. on your set of light more and being able to use more than just your arms. You need to put your legs into position as well. Put your legs into situ. Give me a second. Hey, uh, Steve. Yeah, I've had a volcano going in that left thing then. Right, so yeah, you need to think about what you need to do next. How are you going to be able to take somebody out and down a lot easier and a lot, um, a lot faster, okay? Steve, Yeah. sorry, would that still class as a sweep if I sweeped and picked the leg up? If I sweeped and that's one, then if I sweep and pick the leg off, that's another sweep, is it? Yes. Then if I sweep, pick the leg up, then sweep the other leg? It's all classed as a single leg sweep. But it all classes a different one. It's all classed a different one. Every, t every time you do a sweep, every time you do a different technique, it's classed a, a new technique, a new, a new transition, if you like. Yeah. The more transitions you put in place, first of all, the better it will be for you to, to fight because you'll be all over them. And secondly... The more you learn to transition, the more you learn, the more techniques to take somebody down, the more you'll think, ah, I can't do it in this position. I need to change positions. Mm. That's what you start, that's what you've got to start looking at as well. That you know when somebody says to me, Bloody hell, I don't know where you're going. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Um, it's like you're a spider, you're all over me. It's not because I because I'm staying in one place and going for a technique, it's because I move around, keep the control and keep fast transitional pace to confuse my opponent. I don't do it as much to, to lose control, but I do it enough so that I know that I'm going to get into a position where I'm going to be able to submit and win my fight. Yeah. Yeah. Now, again, what I want you to do is I want you to go into a few different combos. What I want you to do is this with Chloe now. So before, what you did were you, you went for your jab, you moved off, went for the takedown, lifted the leg up and swept, okay? 
This time what I want you to do is, I want you to come in, I want you to offset a line, this time, as you're moving, you've got your jab, off center line, instead of twisting, I want you to step through, take the leg out. Okay, yeah. Oh. What? So step through and take the leg out. So, I'm here. Boom. No. Yeah, you can do it that way. You can do it so that you're coming through, you've got your jab moving around, and then you've got this coming down there, like here. But the problem with that is your jab or center line strike, I can't go anywhere else. Mm -hmm. But if you go jab or center line, move round, strike, then you're back there. Yeah. Okay. Please. We rise me up. Boom. <laughs> Boom. Like that. Obviously, she goes to the ground, but I'm not gonna. No, take her to the ground. Put make her go out to one knee. Boom. There you go. <laughs> Give it right, drill that technique. <laughs> oh, yeah. Get up. I know I didn't kick you there. Come on. Good. Oh. Nice and steady, Tom. Nice and calm. Oh. Oh. Hold on, one sec, Zipa, go for a crank instead from there. Yes. Well, get them both and do the double. Okay, right. Be careful with that one, Tonk, you don't have much control with that. That's why we're going to jump ah, over. Ah, you just cracked my leg. <laughs> No control. <laughs> <laughs> you just don't know how to break, Falco, and that's your issue. <laughs> hey, Tom, remember you're at home and it needs to be a bit steadier. Sorry, Steve, you know me. Yeah, I just, side, what can I say? I'm just too good for my own good. Right, Kesh. Boom. There. 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 Good work. You okay? Ah, oh, my finger! I'll break your arm. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm, your I'm getting under your shoulders. Pass me, I don't have to pass me your hand and stand up. And then you fall a bit. Stand up. Okay. Right, so, Tom. Yeah. I'm happy with that. I'm happy with your strikes. I'm happy from what you've been doing. All the way. Um, obviously, you're, you've got no schoolwork, have you? No. There's Chloe. Yeah. Not a lot, though. She ain't got a lot. She's got, like, a lesson a day. Are you training during the day? Yeah. What are you doing? What is that? This and that. No, no, I'm not. I will start training. There's no one to really do it with, though, Steve. Well, there is for... I can go on a punching bag. But there ain't any fur round. Why don't you go with Chloe? She's doing work. When's Chloe stop doing work? Well, do you have that every day, Chloe? You come down here and you let me do my techniques on you tomorrow. 